Alright, so like Wizard fans, another re-review from my previous channel. Something called Blood Song. Frankie Avalon is a serial killer? Let's check it out. Our movie starts out in Portland, 1955. His wife is cheating on him. So he kills her. And him. And then he turns the gun on himself while his young son watches from the doorway. Nothing left to do now but play your whistle. Fast forward 27 years later, the actress Donna Wilkes plays Marion. She's in bed and she's having a vision. Me. Little Paul has grown up and he's now in a mental institution, but he's not going to be there for long. Apparently, Marion can see what our killer sees. And he's escaped. Marion has to use a leg brace because her asshole dad is an alcoholic and got into a car accident a few years earlier, which banged her up pretty bad. She needed blood transfusions. This is her boyfriend, Joey. He works on a boat. They're thinking of running off together, even though she's still in high school. Video quality is so bad, but that killer on the right there is 50s and 60s singer Frankie Avalon. He's going to try to hitch a ride with this guy in a van. We get a flashback to when she needed those transfusions and she had her leg shattered. Guess who donated the blood to her? Apparently that blood transfusion makes her psychically linked to our serial killer. Going through a bad time right now. I understand, believe me. Paul still plays that damn flute. We've been playing that same thing for over an hour. Don't you know anything else? I told you my daddy made this for me just before he died. I don't think he's too impressed with Paul's playing. So he probably has to die. <laughs> Now Paul's in charge of the truck, and he picks up his own hitchhikers. I'm sorry, it's just that my daddy made this for me, and it's really very delicate. I think Marion snuck out of the house and snuck back in, but like her brace fell off at the bottom of the ladder. Daddy found it. Whenever we see this uh, flashiness, that means uh, we're seeing Marion's vision. And it's going to be of Paul and that female hitchhiker doing the nasty in the hotel. Until he chokes her. The next day, Marion is walking around, and she just happens to stumble upon Paul and his van, and uh, she sees him burying something, which appears to be a dead hitchhiker. She runs back to her friends as best as she can with a brace. We couldn't find anything. Nothing but the picnic tables. Maybe you just thought you saw something. So they leave. And, of course, Paul follows them. She brings Joey out there to check out where the guy was digging. 
And he does find a bag. Nothing but garbage. I guess after Marion saw him, he had to dispose of it elsewhere. Back at the house while the kids play frisbee. Polly's skulking around. Sorry. He has found Marion's home. And he's happy. So he busts in the house. Confronts Marion's dad with an axe. That's the actor Richard Jekyll, by the way. Dad's not going to survive this confrontation. Marion takes off. Apparently there's no one on the streets anywhere and every business is closed. She ends up in some factory somewhere. Paul is following with his whistle. But Marion strikes the first blow. But he's not dead. He's now commandeered a forklift. Another dude shows up. Eventually, she attacks him. And into the water he goes. Forklift and all. They pull up a body from the bay, but it's not Paul. It's the guy he squished. God, that's Bill and I watching. Somehow, Paul got out of there. And he's back to hitchhiking again. Meanwhile, Marion is taken to the hospital and she's unruly. And in our final scene, a scene that defies explanation, when she comes to in the hospital and takes a look at her doctor. All right, let's talk about this movie, Blood Song. I've seen this movie only once before. I've seen it twice now. Um, uh, the uh, movie came out, what was it, 1981 or so? It stars Donna Wilkes. You might remember her from the movie Angel, as well as uh, she was in Jaws 2, and a movie I re reviewed a couple weeks ago called Schizoid. And uh, also stars Frankie Avalon, a uh, singer, uh, crooner from the late 50s, 60s, uh, who was also in uh, Greece, by the way. But anyway... Um, the movie starts out, we see a little kid, like 20 years earlier or something like that, and uh, he sees his uh, father kill his mother, as well as the mother's miss, I don't know, say mistress, whatever that is. She, uh, mom's cheating on dad, so dad kills mom, kills the lover, and then kills himself. Then we fast forward 20, 30 years or so, and this kid is now grown up, and he's Frankie Avalon living in a mental institution somewhere. 
Apparently, at some time over the previous years, uh, maybe five years earlier, he had donated some blood. I guess mental institution people can do that? I don't know. But anyway, he donated some blood. This blood ends up saving the life of Donna Wilkes, who plays Marion. Marion's dad was in a car accident. He was drunk and um, injured uh, his daughter in this car accident. She has to wear these, this leg brace now. But anyway, she got a blood transfusion and ended up being the blood from... Uh, I think his name is Paul, uh, Frankie Avalon's character. So because of that, she is now psychically psychically linked to uh, Frankie Avalon. Now, Frankie Avalon decides to escape from this mental institution, and of course he's crazy, and he decides to kill people all along the way. So he's out, he's killing people, and then um, Marion can see, like in her, I don't know if it's dreams or daydreams or whatever, but she can see what the killer sees, and he sees all these people she sees all these people being killed and butchered. Um, and for whatever reason, uh, I guess uh, Frankie Avalon is aware of the psychic link and he has to seek out Marion, I guess, to kill her too. I don't know. But anyway, so he uh, he ends up seeking her out, ends up uh, getting to her house, kills her father at one point, her alcoholic father. And then he chases uh, Marion. And then like the last 20 minutes, it's a long climax in this movie. Last 20 minutes, he's basically chasing her. They end up in a warehouse. She's uh, hiding up on top on some, on some uh, boards or something. And then uh, Frankie drives his forklift and takes the whole thing down, chases her. Then she attacks him um, and she ends up stabbing him uh, and thinks he's dead well he's still alive and then he ends up driving his forklift into the water and then he's presumed to be dead and they take uh, Marion to the hospital where she's okay but then we see Frankie somehow got out of the water uh, undetected by the police gets into a, uh, a van I think or a car or somebody is hitchhiking next thing you know the last scene uh, Marion is in the hospital and uh, she's kind of strapped down because she's been yelling and screaming and crazy stuff 